I just built the best to do app you've ever used. Maybe because I built it with two different stacks that I'd never used before. I had to learn them both from ground up with Golang building the APIs and also using Svelte Kit. Svelte Kit is the framework, Svelte is the compiler. It's absolutely insane framework and I really enjoyed it. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through my journey. So I've been trying to get my hands around Go for a while now. I released a video last week talking about that. You should check it out. Uh, but I think I've been able to figure out um, certain concepts in Go now. And I think the most logical thing for me to do now is to build an API project. Um, yeah, basically to just help me tie up everything I've been learning here and there and just see if I'm able to understand the structure of the project and how things actually tie up and that that's what i think i'm going to be doing and i think i'm going to be building it to do up how be it i'm going to be using a new front-end framework that i just came across it's called svelte guys this is <laughs> uh, it's mind-blowing svelte itself is actually a compiler it's not a front-end it's not a framework as it is svelte kit is the framework that is built on svelte um it's actually crazy i think you guys should check it out I, I really do not know much about it but i'm going to be learning it i don't even know where to start from <laughs> my brain is blank right now I'm feeling like a baby I, I, and i think that's one of the beauty of learning new stuff right that constant the constant way it makes you feel like feel like a primary school student. So I've been able to implement my CRUD methods. I've also been able to implement my, my models, right? So I think the next thing for me to do now would be to implement my handler and also my routes. So there seems to be a problem that I'm unable to figure out now, uh, which is understandable. It's 1 a.m. in the midnight. So I, I think my brain needs some rest. So um, I couldn't really sleep deeply uh, because this was on my mind. And funny enough, the issue, the issue was, let me share my screen real quick. The issue was not with my code. The issue was actually with the use of coil. So my Svelte app has been created and all of the necessary folders that I needed has also been created. All of my package is done installing. So I'm just going to dive into building the to-do application.
literally feeling very sleepy now because um, I've spent tons of hours trying to learn wealth kits and also trying to tie it up with um, a Golang to do API. But um, I'm just going to show you what the end product looks like and just basically going to run you through um, the whole process just so you can understand how Svelte Kit ties up together with Golang. And so this is what we have. Um, this is the to do application by Drink. I can just type in anything. I'm just going to use this because I've used it previously and you hit enter and automatically it creates your to do. Uh, we can also see um, call the store tonight. Tonight. All right. So you keep doing that and you basically just, um, I'm just going to add one more. Um, this is uh, founders. All right. <clears throat> So you see um, some features like time, you see some features like um, listings, all right? So you could also change the view. Um, look at this, look at this, how magical this is. See how this looks, right? You can easily change the view of the to-do application of your listing of the cards. You can change back to grid and it goes back to grid. You can change back to this and it goes back to this very cool man very cool and once you're done with your to do you can easily cancel you can cancel your to do and you notice that the times actually change you can also cancel your to do you can get it out of the way and then you have this two. you can do this you can cancel the to do you can add more basically your svelte kit has the normal folder structure thing uh, just like your your normal front-end application would do right so the major things actually happens within the source folder and um, the way i designed the to-do application was such that we have um, a top level page the top level page is what contains there are three major structures within your well kit applications you would usually have your scripts you would have the body which contains your html and you would have the style now it is not compulsory for you to have your styles here. You can easily um, segregate where your style should be. But the most important components within your Svelte kit, kit application is usually your script and your and your body, basically. And if we go into that, um, go into the lib folder, we have a components folder. In components folder, I have my to-dos, to-do cards, actually. So the to-do cards is just also like your regular, like your regular components, all right? Um, so yeah, within my to-do to-do cards, um, I have my to-do card. Now my to-do card is the singular tax that you see. That's the singular singular to-do card that you see. So this is a to-do card. This is a to-do card. This is my to-do cards. I can just show you what that looks like real quick. Uh, this is what my to-do cards looks like. So, still the same components. You have your body and you have the script. So, guys, that brings us to the end of this filming process. I really need to get some sleep now. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.